Want to register as a seller on Mintra? Signing up with us has never been easier. Start by visiting partners.mintrainfo.com and click on register now. You will be prompted to enter your mobile number. This will be verified through the OTP sent on the entered number. Once the mobile number is verified, you will be prompted to enter your organization's email ID. This email address will be the primary email through which you will operate your Mintra seller account. Please note that this email ID should be unique and should not be associated with Mintra before, which will be verified using the OTP sent to this address. Next, you will be asked to set a password for your seller account and it is done. You can now log into partners.mintrainfo.com using your registered email ID and password and begin filling up your details in 6 simple steps. Step 1. GSTIN Check You will start the process by filling up the GSTIN detail of your business and click on Verify. Once you validate the business details populated, click on Confirm and Next to proceed. Once the GSTIN check is confirmed, it will be tick marked with green color. This will enable all other sections. You can choose to fill these sections in any order that you like. Step 2. Basic information. The email address of your organization, name of the primary contact and registered phone number will be auto filled. All you need to do is to add the email address of the primary contact and details of the business owner. Please note that these details can be the same or different from the ones you have previously filled. Please disclose if you are an existing Mintra partner. In any scenario, if you are required to choose a yes for Mintra generated invoice where we will generate an invoice on your behalf to the customers. You also need to upload your signature on a blank white background without date or any other details mentioned. While filling up the form, you may keep referring to the information icons wherever available to know more. Click on next to move to the next section. Step 3. Business details. In this section, you will need to select the business model you wish to operate in. If you want to use a paid third-party order management system to manage your inventory and process orders, you can select PPMP C plus L, choose the service provider from the drop-down option and select the OMS version you will be using. If you have any doubts regarding OMS version, please contact the order management system provider. In case you wish to use Mintra's free of cost order management system to manage inventory and process orders, you can select PPMP C plus L M Direct. Further, if you want to fulfill orders from retail stores, you can choose Omni Under Business Model section. You can also refer to this video link to understand further details about business models. Step 4. Warehouse Details This section will require you to fill your pickup address. You can add multiple pickup addresses by clicking on this button. The PIN code you enter for your warehouse location should be of the same state for which you have provided the GSTIN details in Step 1. In case the address belongs to a different state, the system will prompt you to provide the GSTIN details of that state full address of your warehouse including the email address and contact number of the person managing the warehouse. Per day order processing capacity would be the number of units you will be able to pack and hand over in a particular day for orders received from Mintra. Partner Warehouse Code is the code which will be provided to you by your third-party OMS service provider to identify the warehouse to which the order received on Mintra will be pushed to for further processing. In case you choose M-Direct, you will not be asked to fill in this detail. Click Next after you have filled in these details. Step 5. Bank Details Enter the account holder name, account number which is in the name of your registered business entity, IFSC code, bank name and account type. You are also required to upload a copy of the cancelled cheque for verification. Please note that the cheque should have your registered business name printed on it clearly and not stamped. Also, please ensure that the cheque should not be of savings account. Once these details are entered, click on Verify. A small amount will be credited to your bank. For verification purposes, you will be prompted to enter the amount that you have received. In case the bank details section does not get verified, please don't panic. Your onboarding will not be put to a halt. Our team will manually verify the details entered by you and reach out in case they have any clarifications. Step 6. Brand Details This will be the final step of the process where you will be required to enter the details of your brand for our evaluation purposes. You can fill in details up to 10 brands that you wish to onboard on Mintra. Just enter the brand name. Download this guideline document which is an Excel sheet to capture your catalog details. Fill up the Excel sheet and upload in the catalog details section. 
upload your brand logo, nature of business, document of proof, average MRP for your brand, average MRP minus discount will give you the average selling price, brand's overall catalog width and other details. Please note, if you are the owner of the brand or the manufacturer, you will have to upload the trademark certificate and if you are a distributor, reseller, importer of the product, you will have to upload a no objection certificate or a NOC. You can define the USP of your brand in this section to help us evaluate you better. If you are a sustainable brand and wish to feature yourself under the Mintra for Earth initiative, you can select any of the relevant options from the drop-down. Select the primary and secondary category classifications to which your brand belongs and provide your assortment breakup details. You will need to enter the average selling price and catalog width at an article type level and add as much article types available in your brand by clicking on this button. Sizing information will be required only if you wish to sell women's apparel. After all these sections are filled, click on the declaration tab and submit your details. And that's it from your end. Now all you have to do is wait for the Mintra team to evaluate the details filled by you and reach out in case they have any questions or clarifications. Thank you for expressing your interest in registering on Mintra.